We have been on a comic kick recently, reading Wicked plus Divine, and Batgirl, and Rat Queens. So, you know, we were just minding our own business at the Image Comic table at Bia, and then we saw this poster for Monstrous, and it was just like, I want to read that. Monstrous takes place in a magical world where there is a temporary truce going on between two different races. The humans, or the children of Eden, have been at war with Arcanics, a magical hybrid race bred from the Ancient Ones, who are immortal beast-like magical creatures. The two races used to live in harmony, but the humans discovered Lilium. Lilium, a magical substance produced by decaying Arcanic bodies. This substance gives humans magical powers, heals, and can even give longevity. Their desire for this substance is what drove a rift between their two races. Not only that, but there's this religious society called the Chameans, whose greed for Lilium has been feeding the political climate and influencing the humans' desire for war against the unclean Arcanics. Our heroine is Micah, an Arcanic girl who has a monster living under her skin. It has recently become active and it needs to feed, bursting from Micah's injured arm. But of course it isn't a mindless evil force. That would be too simple for this story. No, it has a mind and a voice and we're just starting to learn its desires. There is so much story packed into this first volume. There's a whole history of past conflicts and mythology that the first volume only scratches the surface of. And it's well presented too. You never feel lost or confused and you're definitely interested in finding out more. Super helpful is the lecture at the end by Professor Tam Tam, telling you bits of history that is hard to convey in the story without being too info dumpy. I love the main character Micah. She has been through a lot before the beginning of the story and now she's hurt and angry, but she's also fierce and very resourceful. She can defend herself against almost anything, and despite everything that she's been through, she's still deep down a good person. She's also accompanied by a fox girl that she saved named Kippa. She's timid and loyal, but even she has a bold streak when it comes down to it. And then there's Master Ren, one of the many cat characters in the story, who seems to have accidentally got sucked into Micah's quest to find out more about herself and the monster inside her. Which, let's be real, talking cat characters? What could be better? But let's talk about the biggest seller of the series. The art. The second that you see the cover, it's just one of those wow moments. I would almost recommend reading this comic digitally just so you can zoom in and see all the detail in each panel. And it's not just a few key panels that are detailed, it's every single one. And none of them come across as cluttered or confusing. You're going to fall in love with the art alone in the first few pages. Seriously, I cannot emphasize enough how stunning it is. And the character designs are just phenomenal. Every character looks unique and beautiful, but their clothes. I don't think there was an outfit that I didn't want in here. And just look at some of this armor, these simple robes, and these dresses. They're just so stylized and jaw-dropping. I want to cosplay them all. The second that someone builds these costumes, people need to message me. It's so unique because you have all these random influences that come together to make this incredible style. There is some art deco, a little bit of steampunk, Egyptian, your traditional fantasy art, and of course, anime. Monstrous is the new comic series to watch out for. It has everything you could ever want, from an intense story, to well thought out world building, to art that'll make you want to lick the page. I would call this series candy, but that's way too low class for what this is. It's like... chocolate lava cake. Ooh, all rich and decadent and gooey. This series reminds me of a lot of different books, like A Daughter of Smoke and Bone, and the Aberson series, and even probably Sega. So if you're a fan of any of those series, then you're going to love Monstrous. And if not, I still guarantee that you're going to be entranced with this series from page one. 